Hi everyone, I'm going to take you through the world of Tabata training, which all started with Dr. Tabata from Tokyo, Japan. Now, he worked in the Institute of Fitness in Tokyo, and he knew that exercise was great for you. But he also knew not everybody felt the same. Some people didn't like it. So he decided to do a study, and he wanted to investigate the difference between aerobic exercise, like running, and short burst intense exercise. He wanted to see which would work better. And he found that the short burst exercise worked better. It helped people lose weight. It helped them look better, feel better, get fit. And the great thing was they didn't need an expensive gym or expensive equipment. They just needed a stopwatch, a little bit of motivation and some attitude. It could be done anywhere, in your lounge, in your garden. You didn't even need much space. You just needed to get started. And the great thing was, you could do it on your own. If you were really nice, you'd go and get somebody else. You'd help them, bring them around your house, and you would have a Tabata training party. So let's get on. Let me introduce you to Tony, my client, and his first experience. This is Tony, a teacher from New York, originally from Ireland. And today he's going to show you how to do some Tabata. We're going to be using the Tabata app, which I'll zoom in on later. So let's start. Okay, so what we'll do first, you'll do the step ups for 20 seconds. It's a nice high step, because you can do that. And then we'll go straight into the push up. Okay, you ready? Jump up and down, right? Just step up, step down, step up, step down. Okay, off you go. So step up, step down. Good. That's it. And this is a good way to warm up the legs as well. Just make sure you hit the top of the step. You've got six more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. So you're gonna rest 10 seconds. Then you go down into your push-up. The first push-up, do it from your knees. Okay, just while we're getting our chest warmed up. Off you go. Good. Nice, looking good, looking good. Keep it going, keep it going. Seven seconds, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. 10 seconds rest. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, go. That's it, keep going. 10 more seconds. Seven seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one, and change. 10 seconds. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay, down you go. Off you go. Push it hard, push, push, push. Good. This is the second time, so you're almost halfway through. 12 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. 10 seconds rest. So Tony's done two minutes of exercise that you just saw. He'll repeat that again and again until he's completed four minutes, which is a complete Tabata. Then he'd have 60 seconds of rest. Then I'm going to give him two more exercises and he's going to start again. So he's going to be doing a squat press. So he's squatting down like he's sitting down on a chair and he's pressing some sort of weight up into the air. This is a whole body exercise, that's why I love it. So he's doing 20 seconds of this exercise. Then he'll rest 10 seconds, pick exercise number two, which here is a side plank, again, a full body exercise. And Tony's gonna take the weight into his arms, shoulders, and use his legs to stabilize him, and he's twisting. And what I'd like him to do is start to look up towards the hand that's highest in the air. Again, 20 seconds of exercise, followed by a 10 second rest. Do this until you've done four minutes. So now we've got stretching. So the 60 second rest you have in between cycles, you can stretch. The stretch he's doing there is a quad stretch. These are the big muscles on the front of the legs, very important to stretch. And also his lower back. Now I'm, I'm assisting him here, but see where his hand is right now on his knee? He can do this stretch by himself. It's just, if I push down, I can get it a little bit further. So now I'll just show you a couple more exercises. This is called the lunge and twist. 
So the lunge is when you're stepping that leg forward and he's adding a twist to make the exercise a little bit more complicated, use more muscles and also get those muscles around the waist working, your oblique muscles. Gives you a better, better, stronger stomach. His exercise number two is one of my favorites, squat thrust. And this is single leg squat thrust. You can do this exercise with both legs going back and forward at the same time. So this is another cycle. He would then repeat this until he's done four minutes of exercise. Take a 60 second rest and we stretch again. Um, what you can see here, th this is a nice stretch, but really you do need two people to do this. You can see how I've got his legs positioned. As I start to push back, he's going to feel this stretch go right deep, kind of up towards his butt, really. And back of the legs really gets into the glutes. <laughs> you can see his face. Uh, Tony needs that stretch. Start slow. You can start with one tab of trip. That's all you need to do. That's four minutes of exercise. Then build it up. Two cycles, three cycles, four cycles. And then until you can do four cycles, which is 20 minutes of exercise. If you need any help, john at spoonfedfitness.com. See you later. <laughs>